Welcome to MedIn5. The goal of our channel is to simplify medical concepts and help you understand them presto. This video is part of a series on viral infections. Today, we're covering the neurocutaneous human herpes viruses. Ponder these before we start. Which nerve ganglion harbors HSV1 after primary infection? Which herpes virus causes painful ulcers in the genital area? What drug works against neurocutaneous HHVs? Stay tuned. All neurocutaneous HHVs are enveloped. Double-stranded DNA viruses with a tegument layer and an icosahedral capsid. They replicate in the nucleus after infecting skin and nerve cells. They cause vesicular lesions and establish latency in sensory ganglia, hiding in the nerves after the first infection. Nerve affinity makes these viruses neurotropic. Let's launch. HHV1 aka herpes simplex virus type 1, spreads through saliva or close contact. Those at risk for serious disease include the immunocompromised, infants, and healthcare workers exposed to oral secretions of infected people. HSV1 can cause gingivostomatitis with painful mouth ulcers and gum inflammation. It can also cause herpetic whitlow, a painful finger infection, and keratoconjunctivitis, an eye disease that may produce corneal ulcers or vision loss. Herpetic eye infection may cause neurotrophic keratitis, reducing corneal sensation and healing ability. HSV1 hides in the trigeminal ganglia, a part of cranial nerve 5. After the primary infection, it can reactivate during stress, fever, or illness. Reactivation presents as cold sores around the lips. A rare but serious complication is temporal lobe encephalitis, which can occur during primary infection or early reactivation. Symptoms may include confusion, speech or personality changes, fever, or seizures. Bell palsy, a sudden weakness on one side of the face, may also arise during reactivation. Next is HHV2. AKA HSV2, a primarily sexually transmitted virus. It's the most frequent cause of painful genital ulcers. Mothers with genital lesions can transmit HSV2 to their babies during vaginal delivery, producing neonatal herpes, which may involve the skin, eyes, or central nervous system. HSV2 can become latent in the sacral ganglia. Reactivation can cause recurring genital outbreaks throughout life. As mentioned, primary HSV2 disease in vaginally delivered newborns may cause neonatal herpes. In other individuals, aseptic meningitis can arise. Skin ulcers increase the risk of HIV transmission. Reactivation in the sacral ganglia may cause urinary retention. Recurrent outbreaks may produce emotional distress. Next is HHV3 or varicella zoster virus, which causes chicken pox and shingles. VZV spreads through respiratory droplets or direct contact. Primary infection causes chicken pox, a widespread, itchy rash with vesicles in different stages. Complications during this phase can include pneumonia, cerebellitis, bacterial skin infections, and encephalitis. In pregnant women, it may lead to congenital varicella syndrome, producing neonatal limb abnormalities, eye defects, and neurologic issues. Maternal infection near birth can cause severe disease. VZV becomes dormant in the dorsal root ganglia after recovery. It can reactivate years later as shingles a painful, blistering rash that follows a single dermatome. Reactivation may also cause encephalitis, postherpetic neuralgia producing persistent nerve pain after the rash, Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, causing facial paralysis with ear blisters, or herpes zoster ophthalmicus, which can threaten vision. Diagnosis of infections from these three viruses is often clinical, based on patient history and exam findings. PCR and zinc smear are helpful when serious complications are suspected, such as those involving the nervous system. Zank smear shows multinucleated giant cells, but doesn't tell HSV1, HSV2, 
and VZV apart. Direct contact should be avoided during active outbreaks of these viruses. Safe sex helps prevent HSV to transmission. Maternal genital herpes during labor warrants a C-section to prevent newborn infection. VZV is the only one in this group preventable by vaccine for both kids and adults. Acyclovir, valet cyclovir, and famcyclovir are all effective against neurocutaneous HHVs when given in the first couple of days after symptom onset. IV acyclovir is used for severe or disseminated disease. Let's review. Which cranial nerve ganglion harbors HSV1 during latency? Answer. Trigeminal ganglion. Which herpes virus causes painful ulcers in the genital area? Answer. HSV2. What drug works against neurocutaneous HHVs? Answer. Acyclovir, valacyclovir, or fam cyclovir. All correct? Legendary. If this video helped you, hit like, share, and subscribe. Download the comparison table from the link in the description. Thanks for watching.